Okay, so now we are we're saved. We've got our, our work protected. Um, I'm gonna make these fonts bolded again. I do I do this quite often as I'm working, just little tiny contextual changes. And you'll notice every time you you change something in the sheet, the the uh, the rand between commands re-randomize. So every time you hit you hit save, every time you type a new formula, you'll see those five cards in cells B3 through B. Uh, excuse me, B3 through F3 change. What I'd like to do now is use something called conditional formatting. Uh, it's pretty fun, um, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this entire range of values from B3 through F3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the colors of those cells, rather than putting one and two, which then you have to explain to students, okay, we've got one is red and two is, is black, we can actually let Excel change the color of the cells to be just that. So once you select the cells, left click conditional formatting. We're going to create a new rule. Okay, so we're going to format, we're going to have to do two of these rules, which is fine, one for red and one for black. So we're going to format only the cells that contain. So now down here, we're going to format only the cell value, not between we want it to be equal to, and we'll start with red. So we're going to equal to one. So right now what the formatting will do is it'll look within those cells and it's gonna format that cell that contains the value one or any cells that contain the value one. So we'll hit okay, or excuse me, we'll hit format before we hit okay. We have to set the formatting up. Okay, now in this format, I want the, uh, the font to actually be red. So change the font color to red, and you'll see why momentarily. And then I'm going to change the fill also to red. Okay, everything else you can pretty much leave the same. You can also mess with it if you want to. You can change the border. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. And now what's cool is every time you press F9, any cell that contains a red card actually shows as red. So now there are four reds, here there are three, here there are two, three, one, and so forth and so on. And you can kind of get this cool dance of, of the uniform distribution kind of showing up back and forth as you, as you see each cell. Okay, we'll do the exact same thing, highlight those cells again. And we're gonna to go to conditional formatting, new rule, format only cells that contain a cell value equal to Two. And as far as format goes, um, just change the fill to black, which is cool. The font you can leave at automatic because automatic it defaults to black. So hit OK, hit OK again, and now when you press F9, you've got black and red cards, which is totally cool. If you like, you can pretty up those cards. You can also make the uh, the cell they can they're contained in a little bit larger or a little bit smaller, you can change the border within the cells. I mean, there's lots of choices you can do at this point, but for a starter, that gives you a nice visual. So when you're selecting random cards through the, uh, through the process, you end up actually seeing the reds and seeing the blacks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then next up, we're gonna start collecting data.